They feeling good, like I should. When in Dogu Wago, find what you're looking for. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just going to be a simple September plan with me. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been active for the past month, but I've had a lot of projects to get to. And for this month's theme, I decided to go with a monarch butterfly theme, but then also with a few stars here and there. Um, and for the verse on the other page, it's Joshua 1 verse 9, uh, saying be strong and courageous. And then I decided to print out these pictures on Pinterest that I found, um, that I was actually inspired by these pictures to do the theme. Um, just to add a different like contrast to the quote page and I don't really know where this month's theme came from I think I just saw like a monarch butterfly and I thought that was cute but then I thought I don't want to draw all these butterflies so yeah anyway I then decided to draw the stars and um, I also added like shadows to them which I thought really made them look and stand out and look really cool um, and I added them also on the quote page and I found these stars also on Pinterest and I just dotted these stars all around the page and did the normal shadowing thing like I did on the other page um, and now moving on to the calendar spread um, I took the same color koi pen that I used for the monarch butterfly and I drew all these bubble squares um, to resemble the days of the month and I've done a cal calendar spread similar to this before but I did it in different colours and I really liked how it turned out so I decided to use it for this month as well. Um, I then went ahead and outlined all of the blocks individually in black um, fine liner. As you can imagine this spread took me ages but it ended up looking pretty good so I'm fine with that. Um, I added in the dates and um did september and calligraphy and added another monarch butterfly um similar to the one on the first page and that's about it oh and i also decided to add the stars like i added them on the first page um just to carry on with the same theme throughout the spreads Moving on, I started to add a habit spread just to track my habits throughout the month. Um, I've really been enjoying this spread just so that I can make sure that I get everything done every single day and it's really simple and easy to do. Then moving on, I decided to do a mood tracker spread as well. Last month I drew 31 scrunchies on one page and it took me ages, but it ended up looking really cool with all the different colours from my mood throughout that month. Um, and I'm sure this one will too. Moving on lastly to my weekly spread, um, I decided to use the same format that I used for the calendar spread with the colour and then the outline over it. And I also used a traditional box spread layout. Um, I ended up doing September and then another monarch butterfly and a few more stars in the background. Since my bullet journal has been so absent the past few months, I wanted to show you guys what um, themes I've been doing. And for July, I did this retro theme with stars and all these colors, and I love that spread. And then for August, um, I did a Visco Girl themed spread, and I came up with this on my own, and it's quite interesting. They're the 31 scrunchies that I drew and um even for one of the spreads i did a gigantic hydro flask and yeah that just shows you when you get inspired what happened <laughs> and then the final flip through of the september spread thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and um i happy journaling <laughs> and i'll see you guys next week hopefully with another video Okay. She said nine to five, I'm killing time, but twenty-four seven three six five might have to be.